Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Uh, I found some really nice footage of Sergio Garcia here, sort of synced from the two camera angles. Uh, we can start on the right hand side. So what really stood out to me starting there was how far back his ball position was and that he's got this sort of notable shaft lean at address. So it looked very much sort of more in what you typically see in an, an iron setup. Often sort of a little bit more tall is where the ball position be sort of under that left armpit there just uh, inside the heel with the shaft a little bit more up and down even sort of with the club shaft looking back at us a little bit more and that's really to increase the likelihood of hitting up on the ball and that's sort of where track man shown now if we can have a upwards angle of attack we can maximize the distance um, what's quite interesting is getting less now but how many good drivers of the ball or top players still play with a minus angle of attack or at least a level angle of attack. So you can see Sergio, I think, in periods is hit four or five, you know, minus or down on the ball with a with a driver. And you can see that really in the setup with the ball relatively far back or very far back with a lot of shaft lean. And then this is really his swing style. It has a sort of a slight bump into that right side, a very wide first move. A lot of guys you'll see the club shaft get a little bit more to the vertical but this is really especially from face on in Sergio swing you saw in guys like Ben Hogan he creates a huge amount of lag here so look how close now the shafts got to his shoulder this is a great visualization for many sort of high handicap players or players that cast the club head you know the club head sort of already ended up sort of and shaft over in this position early and all the power has dissipated so he's really retained the angle late there and due to that that's partly why he also sort of hits down on the ball so you can see how much shafting he's got at impact there you know he keeps his body back keeps the spine behind the ball a little bit more to offset that and give him a chance of sort of hitting the ball into the air or leveling out that angle of attack and he sort of stay behind it a little bit more on the way through. You know, typically with a lot of the modern swings, you'll see his head sort of at that place a little bit more on that line. But where he's lagged the club head so much coming down, he tends to hang back a little bit to give himself a chance to, to hit it into the air. So from down the line, you can see he's playing a, a slight fade shot here his feet are a little bit left of his target line which is going to be around here somewhere and due to that or well, the amount of lag he's created in that angle of attack you'll see as he comes down especially so really nice looking first movement great width there clubs you know faces neutral arms in front of his body so he's got this look here where the club head very much looks left of his hands. Again, in sort of many guys, you'll see the club shaft sort of a little bit nearer to parallel to the ball to target line or their feet. So he's really going to lag the, the shaft aggressively here. Right arm sort of really, so we can get a similar frame. So you can see that's most probably at the same place there. Right arm starts to drive under the left a little. And there's really going to just rotate that chest really hard over his sort of right hip, lower body. You can see how much rotation he uses to pull the club in front of him. So, I mean, this is where, you know, Sergio, I think, is relatively unique. And I, I really enjoy watching his swing. You know, for most better players that create that much lag in their downswing, they really struggle to get the club back in front of them. But he uses his chest so well, he can pull that club out in front of him um, I love his impact position the way he really planes the shaft so this would be him at impact we now go back to setup you can see it comes right back to the same place and it really is in a lot of ways like Ben Hogan he's got you know very similar moves there this is a sign of many great ball strikers you look at guys like Nick Price and Nick Fowler they came back very close to where they started there and then he goes ahead and swings the handle left. Club still stays on the on the shaft plane line. Club head still swinging left. 
and through.